bus for rides. No, you don't understand. I have to catch the 28th Street bus. I need to catch the 28th Street bus. Well, how in the world did I end up here? What is this place? Hey, now, Dolly, you're really going to tell me you've never been here before. Are you kidding? I think I would have remembered this gigantic, humongous total void or whatever this is. I mean, I can't even see the bottom. You're probably closer than you think. Welcome to the end. The what? The end? Right. The end of what? The end of yourself. What? I don't have an end. <laughs> Let me guess. College student, right? Yeah. Yeah? I'm gonna take a wild stab here and place it in final E. Exactly! Only I have to catch the 28th Street bus to get there. I'm missing my biology final right now. And my car broke down again, which is going to cost like $500 to fix it, even though they can't even tell me what's wrong with it. And I don't have the money, so I'm going to have to ask my dad for it. And when he asks why, I'll say it was because of the car. And then he'll call me stupid for not putting enough oil in the engine, except that I have kept enough oil in it all the time. It's just a crappy car, Dad. But I can't say that to him because he bought the car for me, and now he's paying my tuition, and... Now he's going to say I'm wasting his tuition because I'm going to miss his biology final. When he asks why, I'm going to say it was because of the car. And then he'll call me stupid for not putting enough oil in the engine except that I have kept enough oil in it. It's just a crappy car, Dad. Then I'm going to miss the biology final and have to take it for another semester and I'll never end up graduating. And instead of making a future for my own, I'll have to count on marrying a rich husband, which isn't likely to happen because I haven't even had a boyfriend in two years, four months, and 37 days. <laughs> even if I did have a boyfriend, I wouldn't have this problem because presumably he be driving a crappy car and he can get me to my biology final on time, but I don't, and he doesn't, so I can't, and it stinks. <coughs> Voila, the end of yourself. <laughs> Those are your postcards. What, what in the world are you talking about? I'm talking about the end, kid. The end. Sayonara. Finito, she's all gone. In other words, you're standing on the last little bit of yourself that there is. How can that be? Look, we all come to the end of ourselves eventually. But you mean I'm dead? No, you're not dead. It's worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> You've still got the pulse. You just feel like you're dying. I don't understand. You're out of hope. You're out of strength. You're out of solutions. You're out of ideas. You've got nothing. Nothing but a crappy car. Oftentimes, yes. Look out there. What do you see? I don't see anything. There's nothing there at all. Mm -hmm. I thought so. What? At the end of yourself, you can't see anything beyond yourself. And that will bring you here every time. But now wait. I don't want to be here. This is not where I was going. Yes, it was. <laughs> no, it wasn't. You've been coming to the end of yourself for a good long time now. You just didn't know it.
brings me here. I'll tell you what brings me here is this. Oh. <laughs> you see this rash? My skin is allergic to metal, and that means I can't wear any bling bling. Oh. <laughs> it's over. I'm finished. I'm my husband. Who never was? Oh, pipe down, you pansy. <laughs> People come to the end of themselves, and suddenly their dignity turns to applesauce. Disgusting. How's it going, Millie? Well, hello, Sarge. How've you been? The last stinks on toast. That's how I've been. <laughs> this chronic thing in my knee is getting so bad, I tell you. It's like bayonet shooting all the way up my spine all the time. <laughs> um, just how many people have come here? Well, I think we set an attendance record last year of 3.2 billion. <laughs> of course, some of those are repeat customers. I mean, Sarge has been. Pretend that you are not. 